Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 83 and we are going to talk about what makes an effective executive and we are going to talk about the idea in brief. This particular article is written by Peter F. Drucker and as we all may know that Peter F. Drucker is known as the father of modern management. He came up with excellent ideas, the ideas which are going to lay the foundation for knowing that what is an effective leader. So when we talk about an effective leader, there are certain things we need to understand. And those things are, number one, the leader who is going to have effectiveness in his or her practice is going to ask needs what to be done. He would be taking care of the people who are under his or her supervision. The second thing is, what makes an effective leader? That he or she is going to ask what's right for the enterprise, what is the mission vision, what are the objectives and how he or she is going to accomplish all those. The third thing he or she is talking about would be develop action plans for the people to support and when we talk about support, so obviously the followers are going to have an action plan, a road map with them that what are the ways through which they can achieve their targets and objectives. The fourth important thing which Peter F. Drucker has sorted out in the list of effective leaders traits is that he or she is going to take responsibility for the decision. The fifth factor would be that he or she is going to take the responsibility for communicating effectively, communicating without distortion, communicating without having any noise. The sixth ingredient which Peter F. Drucker has sorted out is basically focus on opportunities not problems. Because leader ka main role ye hai ke wo rasta talash kare, wo ways find out kare jin se ke hum success ki taraf ja sakte hain. And he or she would also be able to keep the people separated from the problem. Remember that at the same time, the effective leader is going to run effective, efficient meetings. Because many a times, we, meetings are taken up as wastage of time and resources. So, aisi meetings arrange karni chahiye jin ka agenda defined ho aur usme vaakai hum koi faisla wo karna chahte hain. And last but not the least point related to the effective leadership is basically talking about that the effective leader would always focus upon we rather than I. Because wo hum sab ko saath le kar chalta hai, wo sirf apne upar focus wo nahi karta. Now, when we talk about what makes an effective leader, so the effective leader and an effective executive would have the knowledge of the smart decisions and would have the knowledge to come up with smart objectives as well and he or she would be able to define when to go smart. Secondly, remember that the effective leader and an effective executive would ensure accountability ke kon zimawar hai kis kaam ke liye aur usse jawab dahi bhi wo honi chahiye. The third important thing related to becoming an effective executive is basically that the leader or the executive is able to convert the knowledge into action. And that action is obviously conducted and executed in a way that the objectives are being met. Last but not the least point is that the effective executive is going to get the right things done. Or obviously, yehi uski effectiveness ka saboot bhi hoga. Rather than focusing more on doing the things right, he will be focusing more on doing the right things. And while doing the right things, he or she would be able to accomplish organization goals and objectives as well more efficiently. Dear students, अगर हम इस सारी बात को conclude करें, तो याद रखिएगा कि effective leader बनने के लिए there are certain efforts which we need to put in. उसमें clarity of thought and mind का होना, उसमें objectives का सही define होना, और उसमें अपने followers को साथ लेकर चलना ये जरूरी है. अगर हम ये काम करेंगे, तो उससे obviously हमारे results positive होंगे और organization की जो progress है, वो भी ensure हो पाएगी. Thank you.